So we'll start seated on our mat. You can sit at the front of your mat. I'm going to face you. So I'd like to sit this way and face you. And if you'd like cross legs, separate the legs so they're not on top of each other. So if you ever want to use this um, pose for meditation, you're able to because you're not compromising your circulation. So for those of you that might tune into this after it comes on from virtual live to the library, my name is Therese and this is a gentle yoga class and it's made for you. So as we sit, you can sit any way that's comfortable for you always working to have your tail moving down back away from you when you're seated. That will lift you up out of the waist, take your hip bones forward and drop your knees down towards the mat. So think about the alignment of your posture, meaning you want to bone stack whenever possible and you wanna find a comfort in what you do so you can create a steadiness and an ease. So I've closed my eyes so I can come more inside my own body. I can feel two sits bones grounding on the mat. I can feel my torso lifting out of my waist and my shoulder blades coming down back and together. That will help lift my heart up and the crown of my head is moving to the sky. There's a softness in my breath. There's a quality of focus between the two eyes moving together at the center of the brow. Feel yourself from the inside out and notice anything around you, the noises, maybe there's a breeze blowing, maybe your dog is tapping its nails on the tile floor as he or she walks by. Remember this practice is to let all of that outside stay outside. Do not let it upset you, the horns that are beeping around you or whatever it is. Just enjoy this moment inside yourself. As you follow your breath in and out, your shoulders drop down your back. And we cultivate a mantra. Let's pull two hands up into heart center. Let the thumbs graze the heart. Let the shoulders stay down. And think about that you're placing that mantra between the palms of your hands. The mantra is a mind tool, a focus a positive intention, a place to bring all of your energy and your efforts today into that mantra so that you feel that mantra permeate inside of you and move through all this work, move it through all the channels in your body, move it into peace here. Two arms will lift all the way up to the sky. Reach them up, place the palms together, and soften those hands back down into your heart. We'll add a sound of inhale. And when palms touch and you exhale, add the ha. Ah. You're in your own space. We're connecting our energies. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Touch those palms. Exhale. Ha. Ah. And last time we reach up, we lift up. We bring those palms together and we sigh. Ha. Ah. Welcome to your practice. Thank you all for being here. Turning your head to the right side, looking over your shoulder. Coming back through center, turning to the left side, looking eyes over that left shoulder and coming to center. 
Chin drops to chest, shake out your head, let it go from side to side and bring it back to center. Rest those palms up on your knees. Feel the mantra just resting in the palms of your hands. Feel the shoulders coming down your back. Inhale and exhale. Two arms will lift back up to the sky, bring them up. We'll take our right palm down Maybe if you've got more space when you lean over to the right, maybe your right forearm drops to the ground. Feel the length you create by grounding your left sit bone down and the reach of your left arm over the top. I would look up if I didn't think I'd lose my microphone here, but you look up towards your fingers. Breathe. Then use that forearm, use your core, push yourself back up, pressing into that forearm, reaching high. We take it to side two, palm first, forearm second. If you've got the space, reaching right arm over and grounding through that right sit bone. So we're opening up, stretching through our soft tissue of our ribs, opening up our obliques, getting a wonderful lateral bend. We bring that pressure back into the forearm. Use your core, two arms lift back high to the sky. We reach all the way up, interlace the fingers, pointer comes out, close that pinky edge side of your hand, dropping your shoulders down will take a torso twist. Move your body in a corkscrew fashion, forward, to the side, back vertical, the other side. And take it a couple of times in one direction. Once you've completed that, we'll go back high to the sky. We'll lengthen and move that in the opposite direction. Just opening up, breathing into our body, making space. Bringing your arms back up to the sky, we bring hands down into heart. Taking arms wide to the sides, reach them out, turn the palms up, drop the shoulder blades down your back, and rotate your thumb forward, excuse me, up, forward, down, and back. Look over your right shoulder. Palms turn back up to the sky, head centers up. Thumb goes up, forward, down, back. Look to your left. Keep yourself relaxed and center it back up. Palms to the sky. One more time each side. We bring thumbs up, forward, down, back, looking right. Center and open. Last time, thumbs up, forward, down, back, looking left. Center it up, two palms reaching up to the sky and hands dropping into heart. Notice which leg is in front. We'll lengthen them out just for a moment. Tap out the legs from the sides, then come inside, go back outside, and one more time inside, just moving that energy through. And whatever leg was in front now is inside. And whatever leg was behind is now the opposite. So we've got a new cross of our legs. And just notice that one hip may be a little bit easier to get the knee towards the ground. Observe. No judgment, no criticism. Just a different cross of the legs and that's all it is. Two arms come back up high to the sky. We'll take the palms down into the heart space. The right hand will move to the left knee. The left arm will shoot back up to the sky. Keep your torso forward, facing forward as you reach that left arm around. Place the palm behind you on the floor. Lengthen and then begin to twist your body. 
then find the head twisting, looking over that left shoulder. Always moving your body first, head last. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but now it's gone. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's not my music. <laughs> we'll look back over the right shoulder. I think somebody might be zooming from home. And look over the left. And look over the right. Two palms will come back up into sky. Reach it up. Drop those palms into your heart. And let's take that left hand to the right knee. Lengthen up your spine. Right arm shoots to the sky. Move it behind your body. Place that palm flat behind you. Lengthen out of the waist. And as you turn your spine, you'll move it. Once you've opened up as much as you can towards the right, the head turns with you. You take a long lift. Inhaling, exhaling, maybe a little bit more twist. And then turning your head to look over left shoulder. It feels so good to stretch out your neck. Looking back to the right, taking it to the left. One more time to the right. One more time to the left. Two arms lift back up to the sky. Bring it all the way high. Interlace your fingers, pointers up, lengthen out of the waist and take it forward. Forward, forward, forward. Your arms do not have to touch the ground. Maybe you drop your head onto a block. Maybe you drop your forearms onto a block. Pressing your hips back, dropping your shoulders down and lengthening out your spine. So we've got a long reach of our tail going behind us. We've got a long reach of our head going in front of us. Inhale, exhale. Release those fingers that are interlaced. Press them down as little spider fingers so you can press your tail back a little further. And walking your body over to the right side, moving your hands over, let your chest move to your right thigh, your nose towards your right knee, your chin and towards your chest. Breathe in, breathe out, keep anchoring that left sit bone into the ground. Good stretch through that left hip for me, hopefully for you too, as you walk hands back through center. Get longer on your reach forward, pushing tail back, softening shoulders, making space between the vertebra. And then fingertips are walking to the left side, resting your chest towards that left thigh, Letting your lower abdominals really come onto the thigh if possible and driving that right sit bone into the ground. You will notice a difference between your hips, how much stretch you're feeling. I think my left hip was tighter, so I was feeling more stretch on the left. It's an observation. You just breathe into any of that tightness that you feel and let it go. Walk hands back through center, sit hips back further toward the ground. Stretch out and reach. Choice to finger your, your body back up, walking across the floor or interlace your hands again and use full core strength to lift two arms high. Your choice, whether you want to finger the feet toward the legs or not, wherever you're at, drop hands back into heart and come into this moment. Remember the present moment is where you want to be. I already feel better with just a few seated exercises, just some focus, some breath work, and some consciousness into a positive place. Hopefully you're starting to feel better too going to move ourselves to hands and knees. 
Once you're on the hands and knee position, you want to feel the palms are flattened to the mat, the fingers are wide, the index is forward. I'd like to stretch each leg out so that we can lengthen it. So let's take the right one back first. Work those toes underneath you and press that heel away from you, pushing it away. Crown of the head is forward, broaden through the blades, draw your navel in and switch legs. We'll take the right one back down, we'll extend the left one out. Remember to curl the toes underneath you, push the heel away, press those palms away in the other direction and you've got a long stretch and reach. Soft breath in, soft breath out. And then bring that left one back to meet the right. We'll keep knees together, curl both sets of toes under, push through those toes and lift your knees an inch off the ground. Hold here and just sweep your knees from right to left like you're sweeping your mat with your knees. Side to side. You've got this. Bring knees back to the mat, uncurl the toes, work your forearms to either side of the front edge of your mat and palms are flat. Work your knees a little bit further back, separate your knees away from each other and give yourself a big sweep of those hips. Circle those hips all the way around while we rest our wrists. From that circle, reverse it. Feel good. And then we'll come back through center, walk back up onto those palms. Let's take them out a little bit more in front of us so that we can roll to the front of our knees. We're not on the bony part and we've got our ankles crossed. We pull our navel into our backbone and we broaden through the shoulders as we reach our thumbs towards each other, our index is forward. This may be a great place for you to stay to strengthen yourself through the core, through the shoulders. If you're going to move a little bit further into it, press your body forward, elbows right by your sides as you lower and lift back up. You drop down, you lift back up. You've got one more, down and up. Beautiful work, let's lower those lower legs back to the ground. Take the great toes to touch, knees go wide. Sit back to your child's pose. Working your hips back towards your heels and sending your tail way back behind you. Forehead finds the mat, settle in, breathe in and out. You may notice I'm not putting my forehead down. I'm a little afraid on this front of the microphone, but your forehead is making a connection with Mother Earth or with two fisted hands is fine if you're not all the way down with your forehead to touch the ground. You can also place any of your props underneath your forehead. Breathe in, breathe out. Looking forward, we'll glide the elbows out wide. Our chest is gonna move across the mat. Our hips lift high. We find that long reach, dropping your belly down, lengthening out your legs, settling your palms underneath your shoulders, forehead to the mat, elbows driving into your spine, pubic bone pushing to the ground and your thighs fired. Lengthen through the great toe side of your foot and you've got a soft lift in a cobra shape. Lower your body back down, turn your head to the right, shake out your tail, turn your head to the left, shake out your tail. Forehead back to the mat, 
Draw those elbows down, back, and together. Lengthen the great toe side of the foot. Draw the ankle bones together. Press the pubic bone down and let the thighs fire up as we lift back up again. Gentle cobra. We place those palms in a floating hover off the mat. Keep drawing elbows together. Our eyes are looking forward toward the floor, so we keep our neck long and we don't crank our head. Last breath here. Lower the hands, lower the forehead down. Look to the right, shake out your tail. Let it go. Look to the left, shake out your tail, let it go. Again, forehead takes its place on the mat. The elbows, tips drive back. The palms are flat. There's little weight in the palms. And use that push into the earth with the pubic bone. Lengthen through the great toe side of the foot and lift your body up off the mat with the strength of your torso. Float the arms if you're finding that with me. Float the legs if you'd like to lift them up. Breathe here. Just another deep breath in. Exhale all the air out. And then let's soften back down on our next in-breath. Hands stay under the shoulders. Head turns to the right. Tail shakes. Head turns to the left, tail shakes. Forehead comes back to the mat. Last one here now. We're gonna bring our palms flat down next to our body with those palms down, fingers long, shoulders pulling down and back. Press into the earth with your hands. Press into the earth with the shoelaces as you lift your body up, firing up your thighs. Press into the earth with your hands and lift your legs off the mat if you'd like. Keep that long cobra tail if you can. Separate your legs if you need to. Palms will come to your outer thigh muscles and we lengthen up. We take everything out wide. Palms are flat, no higher than the hips. We bring it back in. We squeeze those legs together. We open out wide to the sides. We pull it back in. You're doing great. We've got one more wide to the sides and pull it back in. Awesome. Come back to the mat slowly. Turn those palms up right where they're at by your side body. Head turns to the right. Bend into your knees and windshield wiper your legs. Inhale, exhale, let it all go. Head turns to the left and begin to circle those lower legs. Let your body release those back bends. And one more time, head turning to the right. Circle your legs the other direction. And then bring it back through center. Lower those legs down. Press your palms underneath you. And let's bring it up through table. Hands and knees. Let's move our hands forward to the front of our mat. Curl our toes under and take one down dog. Just curl the toes under. Push the hips high. Find that upside down V shape. Work your hips up. Stretch your triceps externally outward there. As you drop your chest towards your thighs, your chin towards your chest, and you're looking through your legs or up at your navel as you soften through the shoulders, press through that root of the thumb and the index finger, pedal out your legs right, pedal them out left. We bend one knee, we lift that heel, and we alternate. Keep finding length, keep working strength. And then let's take ourselves forward to the front of the mat. However you can find your forward fold, you work your way up there. 
Hands can be on your blocks. Let your head hang, let your body shake out that head from side to side, bend the knees from right to left. Just relax, release and let go. Forward folds are surrendering poses. You're letting go of something that is not needed in your body anymore, we let it go. Let's take ourselves with our great toes touching, if possible, heels about an inch apart. If your chair pose is one with a wider base, please take that now. As you softly bend two knees, two arms will come up, biceps by the ears, head stays down till arms have lifted, then head rises to the occasion, and those pinkies turn in, thumbs turn out. Soft breath in, soft breath out. Stick with the bent knees as you sweep those arms back down and all the way behind you, reach them up high and back. Palms are still facing each other, chest is on your thighs, and we sweep back up into chair. Lift up, reach up, and we'll move it back down again. Let your body flow. Let your breath move you. Let your breath guide you. Again, we lift back to chair. Keep your head down until your arms have lifted, your shoulders relax. And last time we fold it down. Reach the arms back. Let's interlace the fingers back there this time. Stretch the knuckles away, lengthen out your arms. And then as you start to straighten into your legs if you want, making sure that your chest stays on the thighs. Keep your knees bent if your chest is starting to leave the thighs. Lifting your knuckles as high as you'd like, drop chin to chest, breathe in, breathe out. Keep pushing your tail away, opening up. Then a gentle bend back into the knees, Hands moving to your low back. Let's release that interlace and press the palms to the ground. We take our half lift and we stretch out our spine. We exhale to fold. Soft bend of the knees, reverse your rag doll up, up, up. Two arms pulling that beautiful energy all the way up to the palms of the hands. Let them touch overhead and drop your hands into heart center. You're in mountain pose called Tadasana. Mountains ground down, so ground down through your lower body, <clears throat> feet on the ground and solid, and lift up the thigh muscles will lift the upper body up to the sky. The shoulders will come down your back. Your body releases, relaxes, and lets go while you find that strength of grounded and the beauty of the lifting. Inhale, two arms high, reach them up. You'll take your hands behind you, the heel of the hand on the hip bones, the fingers dropping across the glutes. Pull the elbows in, push the hips down. You're bringing your heart up towards the sky for a nice back bend. Inhale back to vertical. We take arms wide to the side. Diving low, bend your knees to get there all the way down. Let the head drop, chin to chest. Take your half lift, stretch out your spine. Exhale to fold. Right fingertips will stay on the ground at about a two o'clock position. Choose a block or not as the right knee bends. Left arm comes out like a wing. Be mindful that it is right long off the shoulder. Keeping your head down, the spine turns to lift that left arm to the sky. Once it's up, we turn the head to meet that gaze up towards the fingers that are reaching out with energy. Breathe in, breathe out. Bend into the elbow and take your upturned palm to your low right side of your back or wrap those fingers around your thigh. Continue to look over your left shoulder. Soften and breathe. As you breathe in and breathe out, you've got power. 
you've got strength. Return that left arm to the sky. Take a look down towards your mat and return that left arm to the ground. Take a half lift. Exhale to take the fold. Left knee bends, left fingertips stay down on a block or a mat at 10 o'clock. As the right arm comes out like a wing, crown of the head is reaching away from you. Take a look at your arm first to make sure it is directly off your shoulder, then gaze back to the mat as you twist your spine and the right arm lifts up to the sky. Stretch through the fingers. Once they're all the way up, you bring your gaze to meet those fingers up in the sky. Bend into the elbow. Take your palm turned up on your low left side or wrap the fingers around your left thigh as you gaze over the right shoulder. Keep that breath flowing. Keep the body in a place of steadiness and ease. Elevate that right arm back up to the sky. Reach with energy. Look down with your eyes first. Your arm moves back to the mat. We take a nice forward fold and a half lift. Exhale back down. We'll step our right foot back behind us all the way long. Work those toe tips underneath you. Work that <clears throat> heel to be stacked over the toes if possible. When you find your lunge and it's long, it's about one length of your leg from heel back to toe, let's drop that right knee to the mat. Let's lower those toenails onto the mat, shoelaces on the mat, and push into that top of the foot. When you press into the top of the foot, you'll be able to utilize that strength to bring your body vertical and your hands up onto your thigh. You're moving your right hip forward. You're moving your left hip backward. Two palms on the thigh. Settle in, stretch that right hip flexor, use those left hip flexors, and the right arm lifts. Reach it up, and the left arm lifts. Reach it up. You can stay on the blocks. You can stay on your thigh. You can lift your arms in victory. We take a 90-degree saguaro. We open up into our back bend. Keep pressing right hip forward. Keep pulling left hip back. Breathe in, breathe out. Two arms, elevate back to the sky, reach it up. Take that left arm down to the thigh, rest it there, and reach back, look back with that right arm. Thumb is up, you're looking back. Bring right arm back up to the sky, reach it up, and we take that left arm off the thigh, we reach them both high. Right arm comes down inside on your block or the floor. Left arm reaches into that twisted runner's lunge with your knee on the mat. We cartwheel the left arm down. You're doing a great job. It's a big flow here. Set your hips back towards your right heel. And as you work your hands as far forward as they'll go with straight elbows, your heel on the left will drive into the mat. The toes pull toward the shin. The nose and the knee come closer together. The chest is resting on the thigh. Take your breath in. Take your breath out. Use your heel as a pivot point to move to the outer blade of that foot. It's not going to touch the ground. It'll come out probably at about a 45 degree angle, just let yourself breathe into the stretch you're feeling on the outside of that left leg. It might be in the upper leg, it might be in the lower leg, it might be in both upper and lower. Come back, toes to the sky, sole to the mat. Right toes are going to curl underneath and you can work your knee up a little bit closer so you've got the ability to push off the toes and find your forward fold. Take your half lift. 
Exhale, fold, two arms lift high, knees are bent as we bring energy up. We pull those palms together and allow that energy to come into our heart. Inhale and exhale. Feel the grounding through the ball joints of the feet, two points in the, each heel. Feel the lifting of the thigh muscles. Feel the navel pulling in with that lifting of the thigh muscles. And then two arms lift high. We'll take that 90 degree saguaro and we're gonna open up to our back bend. You can always put your hands back to your hips and do your back bend there. Come back vertical, reach out wide. Let's dive low, bend the knees to get down there. Once you get down, take your half lift, stretch your body away from the thighs, crown of the head moving in one direction, hips moving in the other. Exhale to fold. This time it's the left leg that comes back, back, back. Start to bend into the right knee. Work those left toes as far back as they'll go with your right knee over your ankle. And then once you're as long as you can make the leg span, then you drop your left knee, flatten the top of the shoelaces down, and find that you've got the weight in the legs and not in the hands. So that we can now drive our left hip forward, pull our right hip back, and bring our palms to our thigh muscle. And as we continue to push that left hip forward, our gaze is steady and still. We breathe in, we breathe out. We lift the left arm up, the pinkies in a little bit more than the thumb. Keep that energy through your pelvic bowl. Let's bring the right arm up. We've got nice vertical arms, pinkies in, shoulders down your back. We take 90 degrees. We push that left hip forward as we open up into our back bend. Draw your right hip back. Two arms come back up to the sky, reach them up. And let's take that right forearm onto the thigh, softly rest it as we sweep the left arm behind us and we look back. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach long. And then all the way rainbow back up to the sky, reach it up, add the right arm to join it. We've got two arms high again. We take a long reach and we come down to the mat with both hands, framing that right foot. Leave your left hand inside, <clears throat> excuse me, take your right arm out long, out to the side, <clears throat> pulling your left hip forward, right hip back. We take our runner's lunge, twist with our knee on the mat. Lift up, reach up, open up. Look up and feel the energy. Taking eyes back down, arm follows to the ground. We work our body back into that seated position toward our back left heel as those right toes and sole of the foot move off the mat. Lengthen out the arms in front of you. Energize those toe tips, pulling them towards the shin, resting your thigh on your leg, nose and knee coming closer together. Breathe. Option to stay here, or if you moved to the outer blade last time, we move to the outer blade of that right foot and we stretch it out. And we breathe here. We feel some type of stretch. We feel that tightness dissolving with each and every breath. Relax into the breath. Relax into the tightness. And be ready to let go. We are forward folded again. Be willing to let go. Back onto that heel, toes to the sky, move the sole back to the mat. Curl the left toes under, bump your knee up a little bit so that you're not having to move so far into the next movement, which is two legs together. 
in a forward fold, moving that back left one up to meet the right. Find your forward fold, bend and straighten each knee and shake out your head. Soft breath in, soft breath out, allowing your body to move with every single breath. Rolling on up, roll it all the way up. Keep your chin down, keep your shoulders rounded till your heart has lifted you up. Two arms come high to the sky, bring the palms together and drop your hands into your heart space. We'll work on a little balancing. You can stay at the front of your mat. I'm gonna turn towards you so that I'll be in the center of the mat and I can work centered up. Okay, so we're gonna rock forward and back from heels to toes just to get the feeling of a bit of an imbalance. And we bring our attention into being okay with imbalance because we can work with it when we're okay with it. It's when we start to beat ourselves up over it that we have issues and we get irritated and anxious. We get mad at ourselves. So we worked with imbalance here. We're gonna work a little bit more with it as we bring our hands to our hips. Our breath comes in deep, exhale, ah, let it all go. Place all the weight of your body into the left side and come onto the right toe tips. When that heel lifts, notice that you've really shifted the weight and find that ability to come all the way to the tip of the toes. Then maybe that leg can start to lift only go as high as the hip if you're going even that high. Heel pushes down like you're standing on an invisible stair and toes pull back. Now let's take those toes forward and tap the floor and lift back up to 90. Tap the floor, lift it to 90. We've got a third tap, lift it to 90. We bring it all the way out to the right side, tap it down, bring it back up to 90. Take it slow, focus your eyes, no weight bearing down with the taps. And then we take it back up to 90 after the third one, hold it, we're taking it behind us. Tap, back forward 90, tap, back forward 90, Last one, and we bring it up. We move it across midline. Go across your left leg to tap. Go across your left leg to tap. Whoop. Last one, cross it and lift it. Hold here for three. Nice job, two and one. Soften it down. Take wider legs, bent knees, swivel the hips. This is definitely a lot of focus. You've got to stay present. As soon as you move your mind to somewhere else, you begin to fall out of it. Reverse your direction. This is probably the best concentration you can do is to try to balance. It does bring harmony into your life if you can find the peace in working with the imbalance. Bring yourself back center. We'll take two arms high, reach it up. We're gonna open up to our back bend just to let go. Hands either sawara or low back. Inhale back up, reach out wide, dive down, bend your knees. Fold your chest on your thighs, take a half lift, stretch it out, lengthen it out. Exhale and fold it down. Soft knees, move those arms wide to the sides. Remember we're pulling energy from Mother Earth. We're bringing all that goodness together into our palms as they come into heart space. Hands will now move to the hips. You can roll back and forth a couple more times. We let go of whatever happened or didn't happen on side one. 
because that's the past. Let's take it present here now as we move our weight to our right side and we come into the toes of the left foot, lifting the heel. So your choice, how high we're going from here. Remember, you can always do a little bit more or a little less than I'm doing. As I lift my leg up, I flex the toes. I push my heel down. I've got 90 degree leg. You're working to press like you've got a stair underneath you. Then you begin to tap. We tap in front for three. Again, we drop. Again, we lift 90. We've got one more. Your eyes and your breath are your focus. We move from the front to the left, back to center, out to the side, back to center, last one to the side, take it center. Breathe, focus, take it behind you. Lift it up. Behind you, lift it up. Last one behind you, lift it up. You're doing awesome, we're almost there. Cross midline, tap over that right leg, tap over and center. Last one, tap over and lift it up. Center it, hold it, breathe into it, find the peace. Lowering down through that left leg, soft bend of each knee, let your hips just sway side to side. Inhale, exhale, bring your right palm down, bring your left arm all the way sky high with the crook of that wrist. Push up, push down, lean right, press. Press up, press down, open up the side. Come back, center, switch hands. Left one presses down, right one presses up. Lengthen up, lift up, and reach over the top. Press, open up, and come back up. Center, two arms high. Maybe the saguaro back bend, maybe the low back. We'll take a nice open heart, reach it up. Inhale to vertical, arms wide, bent knees, dive low. Take your half lift, stretch it out. Exhale to fold and then slowly round it back up. Shoulders are rounded, navel is tucked inside. Two arms will lift high, two palms come together, and hands come into heart. Always want to finish what you started in such a beautiful way that you did the work. I'm going to come back to the front of the mat, and we're going to work our way down to the mat again. So let's take ourselves into a place of moving to the mat. We'll go wide legs to each side of the mat. I'm going to move this out of the way here. Take a bend in the knees, take a lift of the legs. Bend the knees, push the hips back further, lift up. One more time, bend, push back, and lift back up. This time, we'll take the feet a little closer together, more like a chair shape. We'll bend the knees, push your hips back, when you come up, lift your right leg up, take it out to the side, lift it back up, place it to the floor, sit back in your chair. We bring ourselves up, lift your left leg up, take it to the side, back up, down to the floor, sit back in your chair. One more to each side, lift up, leg up, out to the side, Bring it back in, lower it down to chair. Last one, lift up, leg up, out to the side, lift up, back into chair. Two arms high for chair pose, reach it up, sweep right arm back, left forward, look back. 
back up to chair. Other side, left down, right forward, look back. Back up to chair. Last one, each side, right down, left forward, look back. Back to chair. Last time with the left, down and back, right forward, look back. Back up to chair. Lengthen and reach. Maybe this is your V shape for victory back bend. We open up the chest. We come back up to vertical. We're diving low, letting those knees bend, letting the head hang. We take our half lift up. We bend back into the knees and fold and find your seat on the mat. I'm going to take myself sideways, putting my heels on the mat and my bum off of the back. You can take sideways if you can see me as well. Kick through your heels, toes to the sky, two arms lift up. Take them halfway down, lengthen up through the crown of the head. Bring your right arm forward in the twist. Then lean to the pinky edge side of that left leg as you turn that back palm up and fold down, kicking through your heels. Come back up T-shape, reach out and lengthen. Two arms come high. We've got the kick out of the heels. Your knees can be bent. That's okay if you've got tight hamstrings. Halfway down to T-shape, take left arm forward, right back. Turn the palm of the right hand up as you lean over to reach towards that right pinky toe with that left pinky finger. And then we're pushing tail back and we're lifting back up. We take wide arms, two arms high, kick through the heels, lengthen out through the legs, halfway T-shape. We've got one more with right arm forward. We turn the back palm up as we reach across to the opposite pinky and back up to T-shape. One more time, up we go. Half lift, kick through the heels, lengthen the spine, take left forward, lead with the pinky, turn that right palm up and fold over your straight right leg and bring it back up T-shape. Two arms lift high. Interlace the fingers, pointer releases, tail behind you, lengthen out of the waist. Don't have to go deep, just go long. Reaching out of the waist, keep reaching. Keep leaning like you're lifting up out of the waist. Your tail's going way back behind you. Breathe, you can let go of the interlace if you wanna press the fingers into the floor. Kick through your heels, just keep enjoying the stretch you're creating, the strength you're building in your quads. Feel it, enjoy it, relax into it, breathe into it, find peace. Whatever's happening is exactly what you need. So let go of anything that you're feeling that is negative. Let go of any tension or any tightness, chin is in chest. And we push through our heels, we draw our navel in, our tail is back, let's lift this back up. Two palms will come together. Great job today as we pull them into heart. We sweep our legs forward to the front of the mat and our hips back. We'll bring those hands into heart center. We'll hollow out our navel, we'll round our shoulders, tuck our chin, roll to your backside, all the way down. Once you're on your back, draw your right knee in towards your chest. Take your right knee all the way over to the left as you move your body to the right side of the mat, opening up that right arm, looking over your right shoulder. Softening that shoulder down, back, and in. Eyes are closed. Your gaze is from the inside out. Your body is releasing and letting go. Every breath is a gift. Take that gift. 
Enjoy that gift. Use your left hand to gently press on the outside of the right thigh to get a little bit more release. When right leg comes back into center, give it a squeeze up toward the right armpit. Lift it up, kick through two heels, lengthen the right leg. Let's scooch our body to the left side of the mat so we can utilize our mat to the fullest. And we draw that left knee into chest. You can place hands to hamstrings or two hands around the right leg, excuse me, around the left leg. Take an in breath and on your out breath, it moves all the way to the right. Working that right hip underneath you, turning your gaze to focus over the left arm. If your neck allows that twist, let's look over that left arm. It's like you're looking over your past and you're exhaling and letting it go. You're leaving it behind you. Breathe in, breathe out. This practice is made for you. It's made so that you can find things inside of you by using meditation, concentration, focus, using the shapes that we create as vehicles to move more energy through our body and to wake ourselves up into what is real. Come back through center with that left knee into chest. It gets another hug and squeeze. Bring it toward the left armpit. Add the right leg up to join it. Hands can go now around two shins, grabbing the elbow tips, or you can take hands underneath at hamstrings. Give a little rock from side to side. Massage yourself out. Give yourself maybe a little twist of the knees in the sky like you're stirring a pot, using your hands to guide that twist or placing your palms on the mat. If you've twisted one way, please reverse it. Go the other way, keep knees together. And now it's time for the final piece of the puzzle here. We place ourselves in a very mindful position called Shavasana. You move one limb at a time into the shape. Notice where you are. Turn the shoulder blades underneath you and turn the palms up. Once you get those arms long by your sides, your legs wider than your hips, your arms are out wider than your body, and your palms are turned up. Your eyes have sunk to the back of your skull like stones dropping in a well. And the focus of both eyes is at the center of the brow. And all you're doing here is watching your breath. This is the most important pose of the entire practice. Please do not skip Shavasana. If you ever have to leave early, Give yourself a twist to each side and then find this piece. This is your integration of all of the work you've done over the past hour. Follow the breath in, follow it out. Just noticing how you feel. If you want to stay here longer, always know that you can stay here longer. 
always know you can add your own background music to any of these practices that makes you feel blissful and joyful. As you breathe deeper, you're pulling your mantra in and moving it through your body from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. You've got a lot of open space to fill up with positive energy. Then let some movement come into fingers and toes. Everything about you has transformed over this hour. Your physical, your mental, your emotional, your energetic, and your spiritual bodies have all changed. And then wriggle out your jaw from side to side, let it go. And then turning your head softly from right to left, moving. Come back through center, draw knees into chest and bring those knees up toward your chest as close as they'll come and give yourself a big hug with arms wrapped around and be so grateful that you are who you are, where you are, because you are special and you make this world a better place. Take one arm behind you. Roll to that side for fetal position. Take a moment in your fetal position and then softly bring yourself up to a seat. If you've opened your eyes, close them again once you get there. Any seat that feels good for you. Maybe you want to switch which legs in front because we always go into habit. We've had a wonderful time together. We bring energy to each other by showing up here. So let's pull that energy together into our palms and bring them into your heart. You are special. You make a difference in this world. And the more we can move around with steadiness and ease, the more that we will light up the people around us and make this world a better place. We'll end our practice with a chant of Om in breath. Om. The peace and light inside of me salutes the peace and light that's inside of you. Spread your peace, spread your light and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for making mine special. Namaste.